Hey, welcome back everybody. Thank you so much for dropping by. And today we'll cover the second part of collagen, part two. In part one, what did we cover? Is mainly how did we lose collagen? And how does collagen work in our body uh, in different ways? Uh, how it's absorbed, how it works with our muscles, how it works with different parts of the body. Today, what we're gonna do is review these different type of collagen. And, you know, there's 28 types out there. Well, at least that's where I stopped counting because, I mean, you know, just like there's so many. And, uh, you know, we'll, we won't cover them all, but we'll cover mainly what the market focuses it on. So before we move forward, guys, you know the drill. Uh, help support this channel, move forward, subscribe. Um, hit that like button if you saw what you liked and what I displayed. So it tells me I'm going in the right direction. And uh, hit that bell button. And make sure you click all notification uh, somebody told me he goes I don't see the bell uh, to be able to see the bell or even subscribe you need to be subscribed to YouTube so just create an email uh, with any name subscribe to YouTube uh, password the whole thing and then you will have access to you know uh, YouTube and you'll be able to subscribe or hit that bell and you will be notified at that email whenever I decide to post another video Let's cover these 28, well, let's review the main types of collagen. Since there's 28 out there, like it's impossible to review them all. Let's cover what 80 to 90% of the market uses and what 98% seem to market around is type one, two, and three. Let's review what they do, what they have, and what they consist or what they focus on. It seems like the market mainly focuses on the powder market of collagen. You know, uh, what's, you know, I was going to show you a bottle, but I'll wait for that a little bit later. I'll cover a little bit more collagen, so it'll give you an idea of different types of collagens out there. Uh, but the powder collagen seems to concentrate mostly on three main amino acids, which is glycine, proline, and hydroxyproline. Uh, why? Because they seem to cover some of the range of what is good for joints, skin, and gut, and muscles. But that said, before I cover type 1, 2, and 3, I want to cover type 5. Uh, type 5, I've seen and I read in uh, some papers that the type 5 seems to work great with type 1 and 3 for optimal skin health. So, yes, yeah, some people who are mostly concentrating on their skin health is something that they really take a look into, but I gotta say it's rare. I, I've seen it like what, maybe one or two products. And type 10 is like mainly for optimal bone health. So, but uh, it's something I won't get into. I'll just stick with type one, two, and three. Type one is mainly focused for your skin health. Uh, it's, re, it's uh, extracted from collagen, uh, from the fish collagen. But take a note, right? you know, up to date research proves and does not prove or support that skin anti-aging, okay, from type one collagen is better than type two or three, okay? It may be more concentrated, but more studies are required to, to do this. I'm just reading what I removed off university studies and that these seem to reduplicate themselves and several universities have. So, you know, even if I'm mentioning type 1, type 2, type 3, you know, some will concentrate because of their amino acids, mainly because, you know, they're going for skin, but it doesn't mean type 2 doesn't do it any better. They all seem to come back, you know, studies uh, around that these three amino acids, like the glycine, you need about 4,000 milligrams of it uh, to have the optimal anti-aging health, uh, you know, uh, skin health. And 1,500 milligrams for proline and about 1,000 milligrams for hydroxyproline. Uh, let's move to collagen type 2, which is mo mainly focused for your joints and bones. It's extracted from the sternal cartilage of a chicken. Why? Because that cartilage closely mirrors what we have in our own cartilage in our joints. That, that's interesting to know because you know you take something that looks almost as mirrors what we have in our body. And here, let me show you some pictures, which mostly we, what we have or mirrors what we have in our own human cartilage. Okay and contains you know the chondrodin sulfate and hyaluronic acid of what we have in our own cartilage uh 
you know, mainly a lot of companies like going for chicken cartilage, you know, uh, because it's clean. It's, it's a clean source and it's free of blood vessels, lymphics, nerves, and other type of uh, impurities that these kind of uh, extract from, you know, bovine will give you. And sometimes if they're not taken from a good source, they may even carry some disease, which you don't want that, you know. That's why you have to trust your company that you're, you know, you're, extra, you're, you're taking your collagen from. It's very important. Uh, let's move to type 3, exactly. Bovin collagen. Bovin collagen mainly focuses on your gut health and your muscle health. Remember we talked about muscle in, in part 1 of the collagen? Uh, again, uh, up-to-date research proves that, you know, that there's no research that proves that healing action or prebiotics prevention of diabetes is done. There's a lot more studies to be done on type 3 collagen for that. But here's a trial out of all these three collagen that was very interesting that I found. Trial of at least 100 people and more were on collagen for eight weeks on type 1 collagen, which is the fish collagen. And the results were a 65% increase in type 1 pro-collagen. What does that mean? Well, pro-collagen is like a callus producing more collagen. Remember, you take collagen, my first collagen video, and that collagen will help support in creating more collagen in your body and uh, hyaluronic acid with a mix of vitamin C. Uh, which is great, 65%, uh, that's, that's a lot. It doesn't mean that type 2 won't do it either, or type 3, but still, that, was with a, uh, that trial was with a type 1 collagen. Uh, there was also an 18% increase in elastin of skin, you know, where your skin is, uh, you know, flexible, it's elastic, like let's say, you pinch it, it comes right back, you know, best place I think is over here, you pinch it and it comes right back. And there was a 20% reduction in wrinkles. Well, that's great after six to eight weeks. Could you imagine 20% reduction in wrinkles? That's, that's good. Even if you imagine using a cream on top of that. So that's really taking care of your skin. For those out there that really, you know, take that personally, you know, uh, it's something that's important for them. So, you know what? I'm going to go into quick reviews of a couple of collagen out there. And yes, I... I did get boxes and boxes of different collagen from different companies. Three different boxes of different collagens in there, you know, from companies that wanted me to try out the product. And some of them I really liked, some of them I can't talk about it because I, I can't support them if I'm telling you something that's good and it doesn't have it. And I won't mention the name, you understand? I, they have time to change around with time. But let's cover one company that um, seemed to come above a lot of people. And uh, I, this company does, does not support my channel and I'm not affiliated to them. But that said, I will put all the links below that you could contact them and order if you found that this product would be suitable for you. But take a look. Uh, the product is called Liquid BioCell. I got it over here. It comes from Modair. Okay. I was sent this by them. Let's put it over here and stop moving so the camera could focus on this. Um, for skin, reduces wrinkle. Um, basically, um, they use hydrolyzed collagen type 2, you know, from chicken collagen, the, 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 what we said before. Interesting facts about this product. They included 13 rich antioxidant fruits in them, you know, because this company really agreed on almost anything I asked them. They sent me all the papers, all the PDFs, everything, videos, all the information that I asked them, because I, I asked them everything that I could find to find something that would be wrong in case they would try to send me something, you know, like make it look good. But no, I mean, they they agreed on everything everything that i asked them they just send it over and i, I like that out of a company you know uh, forward coming uh, out of those papers that i read is like these guys have 13 rich antioxidant rich fruits from all over the world okay somebody that looks at that or hears that goes hey well i take antioxidants i take a multivitamin good but if you don't 
it's something good to know. And why would they include that? Well, first of all, free radicals. Remember what I said in Collagen Part 1? We're attacked every day by our food, the sugar we eat, the sun, uh, free radicals, the air, smoke, from everything that comes over. We oxidize from inside. We have an oxidizing stress on our joints, on our skin. Okay, called free radicals. If you also watch my water, my hydrogen videos, my oil video, I explain it all in detail. Well, they tell themselves, why not clean up that act first? Let's make sure that we help with the oxidization in their body. And then once that's fixed in a certain energy with our product, with the collagen, then the collagen will do better work. It's going to you know, better fit into your skin, get into those joints a lot better. And yeah, if you do take multivitamins, uh, maybe from two a day, you may want to cut down to one a day. Um, or if you you don't, great, it's going to be an added bonus. Anyways, uh, you're going to maintain the oil-based vitamins that are in there. Uh, your liver is going to store them and uh, for later use. Um, I know you're going to come back to me. and I know most of them do. Uh, the World Health Organization, you know, doesn't mandate these products. Yeah, I know. I've got it from Collagen 1, Part 1 of my videos. And yes, it's true, but man, does uh, World Health Organization mandated vitamin D in the past or vitamin E or vitamin A? Uh, it takes like for years for them to mandate something or follow sometimes something that is healthy, you know, or vitamins out there or minerals. Uh, guys, these guys been around for 32 years in this. They had time to, I would say, or given the benefit of the doubt, to at least perfect their product. Here's something to take a look at, which it really, you know, turned, you know, me towards in looking at them. In most products that I look out there, protein, uh, you know, collagen powders, is they talk about their products, but nothing more. No patents, nothing. It's just like, hey. Uh, no copyrights, uh, we have collagen, buy from us, we're cool, we're nice, and we got good collagen. Excuse me, it's not enough for me. These guys have seven international patents to their name. Uh, what's a patent? Yeah, it's a copyright in, in a way, but it goes more than that. If you take a look at the program, you know, uh, what's these guys, the dragons? And you hear people come in and go, I spend over $50,000 to get a patent on it, like in North America. That's North America. Imagine international, worldwide, how much it costs. These guys got seven, you know, on the, their products. Uh, so you really have to have faith in your product to be able to move forward and create a patent that's, you know, international. I'm not going to explain the whole patent world out you, but it means they lock their product, they lock the formula for 20 years, then people have access to it or whatever. So looking at that, this is how, I, and I got okay to go and move forward with these pictures, but this is how um, their liquid bio cell type 2 collagen, what they have, uh, the sulfate and the acid that they have in there, which matches and you know mimics exactly the type of collagen that we have in our joints. And, uh, you know, um, the one I have is for the skin. And before we move on, the two interesting facts that I really found cool about this was uh, they have a hydrolyzed coll collagen which averaged to about 1.3 to 1.8 KDA. Uh, what's KDA, Jean? Uh, what's this number? What, what is this? It simply means that this number, the lower it is, the better your collagen is going to get absorbed in your body, the faster bioavailability you're going to have on the collagen that you're going to intake. Um, how do I give you an example? A cocoon, you know, you take it by itself, I think you absorb 15, 20%. You put a uh, dash of black pepper on it, it goes up to 100% of absorption. You know, know what I mean? They break it up. They hydrolyze it really nicely, uh, it makes sure that all the amino acids are really separate, the way the process is done. I'm saying that it's because most out there that I even had in my finger or seeing that something that they would do about this range from 20 to 50 KDA. 
these guys are at 1.3 to 1.8 so it's pretty good unless there's other companies out there that want to come up and tell me hey Jean we have 10 we have 5 we have 1 uh, give me a paper show me prove it you know uh, these guys had no problem sending me their uh, literature second thing Reservatrol. And I hope I'm saying this word probably. I hate this word. Reservatrol. <laughs> it's what you find in red wine. And everybody talks about, about cardiovascular health. It's good. That's why I drink my red wine every day. <laughs> that makes me laugh because, you know, it's like in a liter of red bottle of wine, one liter, you'll find what, two milligrams of Reservatrol? Is that enough? Well, some tests were done on animals for quite a while and um, it seems like some of the benefits on the animals range from 10 milligrams to 500 milligrams per day to have an effect because every animal is different. Like every human that intakes a medication or a product or a, you know, a um, protein or anything, we act all in a different way to everything because our bodies are all made different. But basically, 10 milligrams to 500 milligrams, that means like you would have to what? Drink five liters to 250 millimeter, uh, 250 liters a day. You might as well intravenously, you know, plug yourself and go one to these wineries and plug yourself in one of those big jars to have that. But these guys include enough resveratrol in their uh, bottle to at least include uh, four bottles of wine so that's pretty good um, they're just on that limit you know so I found that pretty good you know in thinking of that first of all so they, they, they're trying to cover the oxidization part they're trying to cover the cardiovascular part and they cover the skin uh, joints and you know the rest of what all the collagen does and uh, without any juice Let's take a look, and I know you're going to ask me, which one did you take, or which one were you taking? To tell you the truth, I got some for I don't know how many years right now, but I can't take them. Some of these I won't even try. But for an example, I used to take, um, here, I'll, I'll give you a picture, but basically this, this is the one I used to take. Uh, here's a picture. Um, clean collagen made from Genuine Health. It's got um, no milk, uh, without gluten. Uh, GMO free, 100% um, grass feed, uh, and uh, it's um, hydrolyzed, hydrolyzed collagen. Here, um, you probably won't see it on the bottom that I've seen in the picture, but let me stop moving so it focuses. If it doesn't, I'll just report it afterwards because I don't see it right now. And uh, yeah, um, some of them which sent me is um, let me. Remove my picture and put this on. This is what I got uh, from the comp uh, you know somebody who sent me, and this is another one, just to show you, okay? And I know this is calories, well, we're taking 12 calories. There's not much difference here. Protein is about the same. The sodium is not even worth mentioning. But here, as we jump into the uh, the uh, the amino acids. Not much of a difference, except over here, human bodies use scarlet to produce antioxidants. Is it really required in skin, joints, or bone health? No, because these are the ones. We mentioned those, glycine, hydroproxene, and proline. This one doesn't have it for the skin, but it has these two for gut, muscle, joints, okay? But, you know, from what you have from the proline, if you have enough, be not, let's not forget this hydroxyproline is a bicep of an animal acid again here comes that vitamin C factor which you need uh, if you take a look at all that there's pretty much equivalence these guys are a little bit higher okay but when then you start going down is dairy dairy free gluten free non GMO grass fed these guys are all nil hormone free these guys are nil again yeah they got the GMP uh, certified ISO 9000 this means they have a good manufacturing practice so everything that they say they do and they're doing they're doing it properly and you know you need to do it properly for to get that kind of certification but between you and me you could take bad ingredients and still work it out properly 
and you know still be okay because you're taking these ingredients you don't care which ingredients you use as long as you're doing it by standard if you understand what I mean I rather have this on the side okay wait till somebody evaluates this and tells me it's good than not having this because what comes here gluten non-gmo not grass-fed if it's fed by grains which got all that OGM inside it's like what the cow eats is what I eat second thing checked on Facebook just for laughs <laughs> these guys got 61,000 users these guys got 132 people following them after one year 10 years okay yeah the time is there they've been around longer which one would you go for even if you put all this over here and all these over here and these guys would just be starting for one year I don't know uh, I like to help out somebody who's starting off but I rather for my health go for somebody who has been around for a while who has been evaluated and who said what they have inside really that what they really have inside is what they have you know proven by companies like consumer report or what or Labrador or these kind of manufacturers that verify okay now I know this company told me that they're gonna go in and you know have themselves verified and evaluated so I'm just waiting for feedback on that but I just want to put it out there guys this is what you know you have to deal with when you're going out there and you're taking a look at it okay let's hurry up and move forward for the rest um, how about the US uh, somebody who asked me goes um, I'm on a keto diet and I gotta be very careful it doesn't take too much sugar or whatever to get me or kick me off keto I want keto friendly collagen product uh, which one can you suggest okay I could suggest uh, that there's a perfect keto unflavored out there okay um, these guys um, cost about $36.99 which you could probably have some discounts on there it's about $1.85 a, por a portion but you know if we don't look at that we look at what they have uh, basically they're they're keto friendly okay that's what you guys ask for and um, yeah you, I think you could order them online same thing I'll put a link here so you guys could take a look again I'm not associated or in any way affiliated with these companies okay and uh, the next one which I found I found this really nice uh, check this out I think it's a marketing scheme anyways uh, said it's Biotrust these guys are non-gmo uh, grass-fed the whole thing everything looks so nice you know uh, for healthy skin hair nails the whole thing but then if you read a little bit uh, lower and you take a look in the middle where it says a complete protein source featuring 140 milligrams of tryptophan what the hell a complete protein source and you don't even have a table to prove that you have a complete source uh, no this doesn't work with me because uh, collagen is not a complete protein source so I call them up I go hey what's up I go explain he goes well the FDA here in the US doesn't permit us to put a full chart since we're not food and oh okay so in Canada we're allowed but in the US it looks like FDA doesn't permit them which is that's all right with me I go just send me still a chart so I could take a look yeah it's true the chart came back they are a complete protein but do you want to pay for a complete protein or do you want collagen and second thing why concentrate on the tryptophan well the tryptophan if you take a look it's part of the nine essential amino acid and uh, it's one of those as amino acids but the tryptophan what does that do it supports your body in making more collagen ah okay I understand that's why they put it there but where do you find tryptophan is it like very hard to get in your essentials in every day that you eat not really it's in turkey poultry meat cheese yogurt fish one egg will probably have four or five times the amount of what they just put in there so is it a marketing scheme I'll let you decide all that to make it a complete protein and look good for 265 a portion $52 for you to decide if it's worth it for you hey guys before we we end with this I just want to cover one last subject which I was gonna cover in collagen part one 
but I wanted to, you know, talk about all the different type of collagens out there so you guys better understand. Uh, face creams. Face creams, collagen. In the past, uh, I'm saying uh, they used to have um, collagen. They used to scream about collagen, which wasn't worth really much because the collagen wasn't broken down. So it not broken down, the collagen can't be absorbed by your skin because the collagen molecule by itself is way too big to get absorbed by your skin pores. Today, yes, most of all companies out there hydrolyze their collagen for better absorption, like Modere does with their own products also, and have face creams. And they have their own process, which, uh, you know, they, they hydrolyze and they work for better bioavailability on your skin. But you should not stop uh, taking collagen or drinking it or taking a powder the way you want it to have the best or maximize your results. You know, it's good from outside to inside with face creams, but make sure that you intake the collagen for better results from inside to outside. Because the collagen that you take, if it's bioavailable right away, it's already made, it, uh, your liver or your body is going to extract it and shoot it off to your skin until you have the best results. Guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please um, like, hit that like button, and share. Share the love. And I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.